Dude! What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do if I can't hit one Aphilios? My entire backline is just a one-star Aphilios. And oh my god, he almost got one shot. But like, I have a wonderful comp synergy-wise. Wait. I'm dead. That if that Mordekaiser just one shot my Aphelios. Twice. The first time he one shot him into Ox Force, Aphelios healed it up to full. Yeah, this game sucks. I literally never had a chance to use my Nico. Literally, I placed 8777. And I, I don't feel like I played the game. If I had to say how if I had to put how frustrated I am on a scale from not to very, I would I, I would place myself at B E R. Whoa, that was the fastest loading screen I've ever seen in my life. Bo. Oh. I'm gonna say it. Hog. Okay, I need Tiny Titans right here, or Metabolic Accelerator, or Underground Heart, or Divine Ascent. Oh wait, do I make Econ? Do I dare reroll here for uh, Tiny Titans or Consistency? I'm down to try. Consistency or Tiny Titans, please. Oh! All right, is anybody else playing underground? This guy's trying to. Oh, this guy is. Okay. I'm scared of accidentally beating this guy. He's really weak. I think I need to do this. It sucks because, like, if you position correctly, you might kill one unit. But because there's one matchup that I'll accidentally beat, I got a grief. Hello, Julian Jun. This is one of those situations where if you five loss streak, no matter how much health you lose, you're in a great spot. If you if you win one round, the game's like over. You literally lose like 25 gold if you win a round. So at this point, you're down to like throw all the HP in the world. I probably sell all of these just to make 20. Oh wait, I can't make 20. Dude, if I sold these earlier for econ, I could have made 20. Damn it. You can make 20. Oh wait, I'm bad at math. Sorry. Two plus two plus one is greater than four. Oh, thank God. Thank God I grouped my positioning. Box Box, in your recent video, you said you were Asian and you were good at math. I am Asian and I'm good at math. Check us out. Check us out. I'm just gonna pull a random number out of my ass. 484 times 901, 912 equals, just a couple calculations in my head, a lot. Do you see how quickly I did that in my head? Okay, there's a lot of weak players in this game. I will just keep griefing. Sucks that, because I didn't make that econ that one round earlier, I can't make 30, but it should be fine because I can still make 40 next round. But yeah, I have to like keep doing this position because a lot of players are playing underground. This is like the weakest board you could possibly play, unless you sell your entire board. Uh, I basically get first dibs on items. What's a good flexible item? Oh, it's always Gunblade. Gunblade's like the best late game item. Everyone uses it. Yeah, Gunblade. Okay. This guy is playing four underground. 
Oh, if he faces me, he's gonna end up beating me. Ha, 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 ha. You'll never beat me in my three underground. Why don't you take the Sona? Uh, I value Gunblade. I mean, maybe it's worth it to take the Sona, but... I want to make sure I lose. So here's what you do. You play a kind of strong board, and then the last second you sell it. Because this guy is too strong, or too weak. Wait, what item did the Sona have? I actually wasn't paying attention. Because I wanted that Gunblade real bad. Okay, after this next loss, I can start winning. I don't know if I'm going to, but I can start at least trying to win. I really want to face this Kevejo guy. He's being really greedy by playing four underground. So if I face him and he faces my three underground, oh my god, it's so perfect. I grief him and then I keep myself like without without losing too much HP. Oh. Wait, I have a Sona. Ow! Wait, I fell off. <laughs> Wait. Do I dare play the Sona? <laughs> and try to like play the weakest board. If I face him, I might accidentally win. All right, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'll give it a try. I think it'd be something like this. Man, I wish I faced him because I'm pretty sure I would have lost. I would have lost to him and then like f***ed over his lost streak. I mean, I shouldn't complain too much. I got the five lost streak. I probably lose one more, cash out, go seven, Pog, I was here, Pog. It lines up pretty nicely. Give me 50 health though. Imagine last stand, then I would just go for like a five a loss streak. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna just play two Vi's here just to make sure I win this round. Or maybe I'll, this. Okay, I'm gonna... Lose one more, and then go straight to seven, and then try to win out. Gunblade, Giant Slayer. Get a Vi Augment here. No, I actually hope it's no Hero Augment at all. I hope the Hero Augment's last, so I can like figure out what my team comp is. Gunblade, Infinity Edge. Okay, and in the off chance I get level up, I will not spend any money here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go seven next round, roll a little bit, see what I hit, and then I will figure out what I'm playing from there. I have a lot of item combinations I could slam. It could be like it could be Gwinsu's Infinity Edge Sword. It could be uh, Gunblade Last Whisper and set it for a Belveth or something. Going seven is kind of bad. No, I think it's kind of good. Cause I wanna, I need to win out. And I'm not gonna win out with two costs and three costs. I need to like put Belveths on the board. Put a uh, random Zack, put random Sejuani on the board. And I will have the money for it. So I'll just take this cash out and then go ham. Oh shit. Uh, try for Samira. Shatter is like, okay, but I'm gonna try for Samira. Oh no. Give me Samira. Okay, Daredevil. Pog. I'm pretty sure I can go one more. <laughs> How greedy is this? What the? You've got to be kidding me. Wait, what? Wait, that's not real. That did not just happen, dude. After going 8th, 7th, 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 this game happens out of nowhere. Samira Hero Augment into two Samira Shop. And not to mention, I'm pretty sure like other players, yeah, I see two other players with Samira Hero Augment. I guess I'll just start winning out, and then I'll take the next cash out, and then be unkillable. Yeah, I actually don't even mind if I lose here. Actually, I'm probably supposed to sell... 
Uh, I would play a two-star Ramus, though. I was thinking of selling, like, everything besides the Vi. Aren't you strong enough to go even longer? Uh, I'd rather just, like, play the correct board and like, guarantee my consistency win streak. This board is, like, barely held together by the duct tape that is early Samira 2. Like, there's no front line. I'm literally just, like, gunblading my kill to be a tank. Like, I need to get out and then go play something else. Go play a real front line. Okay, so I believe what you do here now, since I'm at 6 out of 10, oh, hang on. Samira on Carousel. Oh, I'm gonna grab uh, Infinity Edge here. Maybe I'm supposed to focus on tank items, but the idea of finishing a really strong three-star Samira, or three-item Samira is nice. Okay, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop two undergrounds. I'm just gonna win twice. Get my consistency win streak and then get my cash out. I'm gonna roll a little bit until I hit some frontline unit that's good, like a Zac 1, or MS2, a Vi2, Sedge. Oh, all right, good roll down. Good roll down. What is going on? Dude, this is like five games worth of bad luck made up for. Although, I'm pretty sure going eight four times before this game doesn't really... The, L the LP games are not equal, but at least I get like a tuber. Hello, Saint Liar. I have like a best in slot Samira 2 on 3-5. With consistency. Definitely a Donger J moment. It seems like rolling first lets you hit. No, that was an insanely lucky roll down. I hit two Samiras in one shop at seven. And it was like my fourth roll. The odds of that happening, the odds of hitting Samira 2 at this point in the game, from that little amount of gold, it's it was like 2% chance of happening. Probably less than two. I wouldn't have been surprised if I hit one Samira and then I rolled to zero to hit the second one. That's like, that's a reasonable outcome. Cause you get one from the augment and then you hit one in shop. It's like, oh shit, I'm rolling a zero to make sure I hit it. But just hitting two in one shop just like that, my God. Win this, go eight. Box, box, Samira needs to be nerfed. I lost versus a Samira three. And that's exactly how it should be, what? <laughs> you should lose to a Samira 3. Are you kidding me? If you're saying my Belva 3 lost to a Samira 2, then maybe Samira needs to be nerfed, but that's a completely different situation. Some guy hitting Fiddlesticks 3 does not mean Fiddlesticks is broken. I saw a post on Reddit that I thought was so funny. A guy was like, really angry at the balance team. He was like, Mark Dog, you guys suck at balancing TFT. My Belva 3 just lost to a Nunu 3. Are you kidding me, Mort Dog? I, I thought it was so funny because that guy, like words can't describe how dumb that guy is. He's like, I should win the game when I hit Belva 3. How the hell does a Nunu 3 beat that? And he was like really angry. He wrote paragraphs on paragraphs about like why uh, he was like getting wronged. Holy crap. It's actually not very good because I already have an IE. And I already have a Lost Whisper. But like, I'm definitely taking it just because I'm not going to stay at 8 for this much longer. Or 7. I'll hold on to the aces. Okay, I need all tank items now. Okay, this is where I have consistency. So this is where you just like grab any legendary unit. Okay, probably not this one. And I think this is fine, as long as you get consistency. I'm probably not going to play, um... I'm probably not going to play these guys. I'm probably not playing Mecha Prime. I don't have, like, a good three item set for, um... For the Mecha unit. Just play Zac over, um, Zac over Riven here. Alright, I'll take, like, a any Augment's fine here. I think it's Ancient Archives. Okay, Ace Crest is interesting. Uh, Sure Shot is good. Uh, I'm just gonna open it now. 
Oh, it's probably just Aegis. Wait, is it AD or AP lobby? AP, 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 AD, AD. Okay, it's just Aegis. Not bad. Okay, I mean, what can I say? It's an insane front line, insane back line. This Senna can be replaced with a Aphelios Slater, and then you just go Legendaries. I'm pretty sure this board gets me to nine. I don't feel like I'm playing the game. I think I just got Samira for free and the game is over. This guy also was underground, except he didn't high roll into a Samira too, so now he's dead. I'm sorry, buddy. Today, I am the dirty high roller. Time to die. Why was Hacker one of your tome options? Uh, I have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine traits out on my board. So what that means is I will get offered, it's, it's very consistent. So if you have eight to nine traits on the board, you'll get offered two. You'll get offered two things from your board and then you'll get offered two random ones. So Hacker was one of the randomized ones. If you wanna have the highest chance of getting like the good stuff, uh, it's a little, weird in my opinion but what you have to do is you have to have 12 traits on the board that that gives you four traits from your board and zero random and then you have to have as many unobtainable traits as possible and you might be wondering what is an unobtainable trait uh it's like supers because you will never get a super spat from the tome but the only way for you to know which one is unobtainable is to like ask more dog basically so like that part's kind of weird like you just have to like do external research on that. Uh, I don't even know the list of unobtainable traits off the top of my head. I know supers is one, uh, and I'm, pre I'm pretty sure there's like two or three more. But like, I kind of don't like that that's how it works. If you want to like optimize your game, you just have to know which ones are the unobtainables. Uh, oh yeah, the fiddle one, corrupted, uh, forecaster. I'm just gonna grab this ergot. It's a little troll because I already have a lot of. Uh, it's a little troll because I already have a lot of offensive items, but I think just getting early Urgot is nice. Oh yeah, Arsenal threat. They're unobtainable. But yeah, so like you want to have 12 traits on the board and as many unobtainable traits as possible, and then you're like guaranteed to get what you want. It's insane. Does Urgot Titans work? I'll probably just wait. If the fight looks close for whatever reason, then I'll do it. Going to do four aces. I'm holding the Mordekaiser for it, but it's most likely no. Most likely no, because I think if you're going to play four aces, you usually want to play mech. All right, if Urgot farms me one any component, then he paid for, he paid for himself. I call him Wall Street Urgot. Wall God. If I think there's any chance of me losing, I should level here. Because the econ is nice, but keeping the consistency win streak is a really big deal. Do I think there's anybody in this team, in this game, who has a chance of beating me? Maybe this spread shot vein. I'm a little scared. No, nah, nah, I have faith. I have faith. Oh, he moved sides. Okay, I didn't face him. I didn't face him. What is Rel doing on the bench? Oh, yeah, you're right. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. That vein three with spread shot could maybe beat me. But now I should be good. Now we go nine and then just fill out our board with legendaries. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. No! I underestimated him. Okay, it's fine. Honestly, I still have my like ridiculously good econ. I'm kind of surprised. I, I thought my board would win that, but like I, I am massively lacking in the frontline department. I have a lot of units in the frontline. I don't have any items invested to it. I have four aces. I might actually play it. I've got pretty good MF items. The, the weird part is like, I don't have the mech. Maybe if I hit two star Leona. Okay, I need to get frontline. I'm really not convinced that, I'm really not convinced that four aces is the right play. I think it's better to just play two sure shots and like all legendaries. That's a ZZ rot. Wait. Okay.
I'm just gonna do this. What the heck? Yeah, like screw the four aces. Screw the four aces. I'm pretty sure that's a huge bait. I think what I have here is way better. The Samira sisters, and I'll put an Aphilius in the middle. This looks really good. Oh, thank you, Walgot. I think four aces would be good if I had like MF2 and like a Mecha Prime set. I can drop Vi. Well, Vi is Aegis and Brawler, but I'm feeling like a two star Zac is gonna be better. I mean, I don't actually need the Urgot anymore. I have so much damage. Uh, I should keep rolling. One Aphilios. Oh. Uh, let's drop the Ramus first. Or... Yeah, crazy game. I need an Aphilios over the Senna. You probably don't need Ox Force that badly for playing around double Samira. Oh my god, let's go! Wall got! Wall got! And an item component! Okay, I don't want to get you guys too excited, but what are the odds of the capital S? If I ever get it, I need to make sure I bench this Samira with like the scuffed items. I mean, I feel like I just keep rolling here. Fiddle 2. If it's AP heavy, I'll swap. It's probably supposed to be, um... I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to sell this Urgot. I think you play an Alistar 2 over this Ramus once you get the Aphilios. And then you just keep rolling for like all legendaries here. A 2-star Leona can replace this uh, Sejuani, or Vi at least. Let's go, Walgot! Samira on Carousel. Dang. Okay. Uh, let's definitely get a frontline item. Do I have a Sunfire? I don't. Okay, so I'll, I'll take Sunfire. I'll take Bramble. Oh, it's Bramble Fiddle? Aw. Uh -oh. It was a little bit too good to be true. Are you going for Samira 4? No, just Samira 3. All the Samira players died. I think it's because they couldn't hit because I hit really early. MF2 just like that. Ooh! Alright. I think he's gonna move last second. Oh, he did. Noise. Got him. Let me in! If you saw a scarecrow standing outside of your house screaming, Let me in! Would you let him in? Titan's fiddle seems interesting. I mean, it's not that great. I'm just putting three items on a fiddle, too. Just to, like, have three items on a fiddle, too. There are much better items you could get on him. But, like, he does take damage, which gets him to stack quickly, and then he does heal it back up. So, like, I'm down. All right. Oh. Down to keep just donkey rolling. Well, good roll down. Okay, so I'm thinking you drop Vi, you drop Ramus. You play, like, Echo, Leona, or Alistar. Assuming you have the Aphilios in later. Actually, I'm going to put the Leona in right now. I, I think the Leona ult against the Mecha Prime set is really good here. What a game. This is what happens when you just get the god roll at level 7. Like, sometimes I complain about not playing the game when you, like, low roll really hard, and you actually just don't get to play the game. Game's
And then this is like the exact opposite. I'm not playing the game in the other direction. I hit everything too hard and I'm being handed a free first place. I think the most satisfying games are the ones in the middle where you like kind of hit and you have to fa face other players that also kind of hit. And you sit there feeling like you outplayed them. Like when you're like kind of you're low, you're dying and then you find some insane positioning or an insane mechanical play to like salvage through placements. That feels so good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll take the free LP. I just don't really feel like I played the game. Sell your board. Uh, I don't think I should do that. I lost 200 LP today from not playing the game. I will take my free LP. I need every single bit of LP I can get. Alright, this probably is going to be an Urgot item. Oh, I could do Hat Got. Nah, that's troll. Uh, it's... I like this. Interesting. Interesting. Seven Samiras, seven fiddles. Zerot? Sure. I don't care about Alistar anymore. Come on. Oh no, if I kill both of these guys, that's going to be the worst timeline. <gasps> I hope I lose. I'm too strong. No, 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 please. I didn't realize I'd be facing both of them. No, no, I thought I was going to kill one. Dude, that's so sad. I thought I'd kill one there and then sell my whole board for Fiddle 3. But I killed both!